Atlas, Atlas, uh, in the high, yes. in the hot seat tonight. And Atlas goes by the name of Atlas the Bookkeeper. How you feeling, my friend? Okay, so last night, here's what happened. All right, let's talk about last night because basically, what I was afraid was going to happen is exactly what happened. Okay, so as of yesterday, I have now updated my night stream schedule. What does that mean? It means that my late streams are no longer going to be running super late. Normally, my night streams were running around 7 p.m. Pacific time, and they were running till about uh, 9, 30, 10 p.m. Pacific time, okay? The problem with that is my wife's work schedule recently has changed. She now is working much earlier mornings. In fact, tomorrow she's working even earlier because now they're starting with holiday hours, and she has to be there even earlier in the morning. This results in her having to go to sleep very early compared to what we used to do for our regular schedule. So basically, our old schedule, my late streams worked. Now they don't anymore, all right? There's some nights where I'm just getting out of this office between 10.30, 11 p.m., and I go to see my wife. She's like, I got to go to sleep. I'm tired. I got to go to sleep. I got to work tomorrow. And so we go right to bed, and it's like, damn, I didn't get to spend any time with my wife tonight. This sucks ass, right? So what I want to do is change the schedule so that now I can spend more time with my wife every single night. All right, Kat deserves it. I deserve it. We deserve more family time. It sucks that the work has kind of taken over around here. All right. So what I decided to do was starting last night, my early or my late streams are going to start much earlier by about 45 minutes. And then they're going to end much earlier by about an hour to 45 minutes, depending on the night. Okay. So here's what happened last night. I started my stream around, I, it was supposed to be 615, but I was waiting for an upload to finish. So admittedly, it didn't start till like 620. Okay, so it was like five minutes late. The stream starts, and some people had paid attention and had showed up. Despite the fact that I had mentioned this two, three days in a row, I made a special video clip about it, and I had put it all over my schedules that I posted. A lot of people didn't listen, all right? So I started playing Call of Duty last night early, and we had half the audience, okay? So I played for about 45 minutes, and the first 45 minutes didn't go great because I was basically trying to do the daily challenges and I was using the SMG. I would say the second half of the stream was great. I actually was convinced by the audience to start trying ranked. And I said, I don't even know what ranked is. Let's see what it is. And I started playing it. And I'm like, wow, this is actually good. Like basically uh, ranked, here's the deal. Okay, ranked. Allows you to play on smaller teams of 4v4. Okay. And because of this, the spawns are staggered enough that there's no spawn kills. So it makes it a lot more fun where you're not spawning and immediately getting shot up by assholes like happens in standard multiplayer sometimes, okay? So that's number one. Number two, it's limited spawns. So it's actually interesting because every life counts and you can deplete your enemy team's spawns to the point where you win by default by killing them so much. So it's like more strategy. It is. It's like not only are you not constantly getting killed every moment you're playing, but also you can outplay your opponents and win by default, which I actually really like. So after playing this for an hour, I've determined I actually really like it and I want to do more of it. The only bummer is it seemed like it was only a few maps. And I was like, if only it wasn't the same three or four maps, I wish it was like way more, but maybe they could only make it work on a certain size of map. I'm not sure. Um, but I was having a great time with it, okay? But there was a problem. By the end of the stream, which I was intending to finish gameplay by around 8.45, 9 p.m. Pacific time. Like, that was it. That was when I was going to end the stream. Um, basically, number one, we didn't have as many viewers as usual. And number two, we didn't hit the goal. Now, as you know, my goal of support is 150 bucks per stream. We've hit this 80 straight streams in a row. And all of a sudden, the one night that I changed my schedule, we're not going to hit it. And we were down by a lot. We were down by like $100, all right? So I said to everyone, I'll stick around for 15 minutes and chat, and hopefully some of the people who might have been latecomers will come by. Well, it did work. A couple people did contribute, but we were still down like 80 bucks. And I'm like, all right, so the only thing I can do, because I'm telling everyone, I can't stick around super late. I promised I was getting out of here to spend more time with my wife, all right? So I said, all right, the one thing we can do then, all right, is to do... The daily wrap, but do it live. I'm going to do it anyway. I have to do it. I do it every night. But this time, we'll actually do it live, which I never do. I never broadcast it. Uh, and that'll give a few people a few extra minutes or whatever to show up. So I live broadcast the daily wrap. 
by the time I ended the daily wrap, it was like 925. And I was like, guys, we got to get out of here. So I, I tallied it up and there were two more super chats. Now we were up to less than half left of the goal. And then boom, someone dropped a ginormous tip of like 70 bucks. And of course it was this person who's been tipping with the word boner in the name of the tip. They've been doing it a lot recently. And obviously they're meant, they're, they're just jabbing fun. It's not a big deal, but yeah, they dropped this, this big tip. I think it was like, like heavy boner or something like that. No meaty boner. That was what the name of the tip was. And we hit the goal. All right. So here's the thing. All right. Some people who are moronic trolls who have been around waiting in the wings for a long time to see the streak end were literally salivating. I'm not kidding you. They all came to the stream at the end. The stream attendants skyrocketed at the end because my trolls got word that the streak was going to end. Review Tech USA was rebroadcasting me on his channel, literally going like this, waiting for my streak to end, and all of his fucking sycophant followers were actually waiting for it to end. Okay? So it was like this big event that the streak might actually end, if you can believe it. To me, it's like, listen, I wanted to continue. I love the momentum we have. I told you, this has allowed me and my family to dramatically improve our whole situation, our life situation, having more time to spend with each other, right? Being able to buy things like new washer, dryer, fans, and stuff for the house. And it's allowed me to improve my setup dramatically. I mean, some of the stuff I'm showing you is that I bought with this increase of income that I have, right? So I obviously don't want the streak to end, right? And especially when every piece of shit is staring at the stream and they're like, haha, it's going to end. I'm like, but there's a difference between the streak legit ended because people didn't want to support or the streak ended because I changed my night stream schedule and people weren't aware and the people who usually come by to support weren't there for the end of the stream because it was early and then it ends because of that. That's bullshit, you see? So basically I said, guys, I got to get out of here. And then the tip came. So the good news is the streak continues, but I am definitely now of the mind that probably the streak will end this week. I said it last week. I thought when we played Veilguard last week, it was going to end and it continued. Now I'm telling you, I think now because I've changed my night stream times, I do think it's going to end this week. Unless everyone gets in line and understands that the streams are going to be a different time, uh, it's going to be very frustrating. And, you know, I got frustrated last night. I was like, I don't, I, I think it's unfair that this level of support has continued very regularly for now for two months. And that it's going to end because I decided to change my schedule to spend more time with my wife. That's bullshit. It's, it would be one thing. Okay. The streak is ending because people don't like the content anymore. People have decided they can't support anymore or whatever. That would make sense. But now, oh, it ends because the schedule changed, right? That's what was killing me last night, all right? So, and by the way, again, every idiotic detractor going like this, fuming at the mouth, ha, ha, ha. Now, listen, of course, because the streak continued last night, all of a sudden, they all have to seethe and cope and say, oh, well, the tip wasn't real. Yes, it was. Every single contribution is real. I've literally never made up a single contribution on a stream ever. In my 16-year history as a creator, in my... Eight years now as a live streamer, I've never made up a contribution. Not once. I don't have a reason to. If that were the case, this streak would now be at around 140. Because I never would have said the streak ended. I would have claimed that it continued this entire time. And it never would have ended and restarted multiple times. You understand? And it, listen, if the streak ends, it's not the end of the world either. Okay? It's not. But that's the thing. To the detractors, it is. To them, they actually feel like if this streak ends today at 81 and we don't hit the goal on this stream, that's it for Phil. That's the end. But also, you got to understand to them, the documentary was going to be the end. Also, you got to understand when Keemstar came on my show, that was going to be the end. The interview with Stuttering Craig was going to be the end. When Phil does a political show, that's the end for him. Everyone's going to abandon him in droves and he'll never have viewership ever again once he talks politics. Oh, wait, he's on Kino Casino. Those guys are going to turn on him and that's the end. You get it? Do you get it now? To them, literally every single thing that happens in my life is the end. Because to them, it's a cycle of drama that creates content. For me, it's just normal days. Normal life, fun stuff going on. There's no drama to be had. It's fine. If the streak ended last night, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. 
But obviously, I did not want it to end. I want this positivity to continue. And what happened was, by me sticking around about an extra 25 minutes, we continued the stream. Now, I'm not doing this every night. I'm making this abundantly clear. This is not happening every single night. This, had, this is a one-time thing, basically. Now, people have to know that the late streams are earlier. They're going to start around 6.15 p.m. Pacific time. They're going to end around roughly 8.45 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. That gives me about an hour to finish up my work and then go downstairs by 10 and have time to be with my wife. Now, to make this abundantly clear as well, <clears throat> last night, I stayed late to hit the goal. I then set up my battery backups, UPS uh, units that showed up that I had ordered off Amazon. They showed up during the day. I set all those up. I have one over here backing up my gaming PC, my PS5 Pro, my TV, and all those peripherals over there. And then on this side, I have another one backing up my streaming and gaming PC, my multiple monitors, my uh, uh, printer, speakers, and stuff like that. And they're running, and they're beautiful, all right? So I had time to do all of that and to do all my uploads. And I went downstairs at 10 p.m., and I still had about 45-plus extra minutes to spend with my wife, which is what the goal was. And Kat was very happy about that. She was like, oh, you're actually down here like we planned. I was like, yep, down here at the right time. We spent some time together, and I'm happy that we could do this now rather than having to rush to bed. So it all worked out very, very well, okay, very well. So for everyone who is essentially freaking out, just stop. I seriously like, cut the shit with the drama because it's not just the trolls. There's people who are like, fans, oh, I can't believe this happened. Nothing happened. What you're saying is, is just silly and, and dumb. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing bad happened. People didn't get the message that the stream was going to be earlier. Okay. And the streak was going to end because they didn't know. I stayed around an extra 30 minutes and we hit it. And now hopefully people will get the message. I mean, enough idiots have now talked about this in the last 12 plus hours that hopefully people got the message, hey, the streams are earlier now. Please come by and support when you can, because if you don't, the streak may end, and it's for a dumb reason, right? Not because, again, listen, like I said, if you're going to fail in life, fail as a result of your efforts not being enough or your content not being good enough, correct? So if people don't like my content, then it fails, all right? If people don't like me because I did something wrong, then it fails, not, oh, I failed because my time of my stream changed and people weren't aware. That's that's nonsense. You know, that's nonsensical shit. And just to prove a point, I've got tips. I've got super chats coming in. We've got support this morning. It's not that suddenly people don't like me and my content. It was a time change was the reason why the things were in jeopardy. I just find it hilarious that what happened, because here's what happened. As this was going on, Basically, all of a sudden, people started showing their true colors in chat. These accounts that barely talk, all of a sudden, all started talking shit. Oh, it's a fake tip. Oh, fuck Phil. He's supposed to spend time with his wife. And I did. Here's, here's how the detractors spin it. So Phil's a failure. His streak ended. It's all fake. He didn't spend time with his wife. He betrayed his family. He betrayed everyone for a tip that's not even real. Here's reality. I got to spend extra time with my wife. I even got to add new things to my setup with these UPS power supplies. I put out a great Call of Duty stream. I continued my streak, and all of my detractors are coping, seething, crying losers who can't handle my success. And every single stream that I hit my goal, it hurts them a little more, and it takes away a little more of their little, dark, twisted, corrupted, sickened souls. And so I will continue to crush this fucking streak every single day, regardless of people knowing if my times have changed or not, because every single time that you make an awful person seethe, cope, and cry, is a win. There's too little time in life to sit around wishing harm on others, trying to hurt others, being jealous of others, okay? I know that now. When I was younger, I didn't understand that. And I was kind of similar to how my trolls and detractors are today. But I grew up, and I became mature. And now I understand it's about positivity, fun, good content, and having a great positive future. I'm not here to be toxic. I'm not here to do nasty things. At one point in the past, yeah, probably that was what I was about. But not anymore. I have changed. These people are some of the sickest, most toxic, disgusting people on the planet. That's why they wish we a harm of me. That's why they want all these bad things upon me and want all this success that I'm having to go away. It's not going to go away. Every single fucking day that they act like this, I am going to redouble my efforts, 
to make content that people want and will support. Do you understand me? They're never going to win. Even if the streak ends, the streak will come back. Even if we have a few slow days, there's going to be days of positivity and support and fun. It's never going to end. I'm always going to be here until the day that I choose not to stream. The day that I hang it up and say, I'm done, I'm retired, I'm moving on with my life, will be my choice, not theirs. They have absolutely no power, no control, and no effect on my fucking life, period. And it will have to deal with that every single day. Because every day I'm here, they suffer, and I win, and we have a great time together, and that's what it's all about. Fuck detractors and toxic people. They're no life losers, and this planet would be better if they all didn't exist. Done. <clears throat> okay. So, some shout outs, and then we're going to move on from this topic. First of all, I received a $10 super chat. Oops, I misclicked. Hold on. A $10 super chat from. Oh, my leaderboard's not updating. Shit, hold on. That's not good. Because I need to be able to see all your contributions. And if it's not updating, I might have to log out. Okay, it worked. So I got a super chat from Lil PP Energy. $5 super chat. And he says, it's not the size of the tip. It's what you do with it that matters. <laughs> Thank you, Lil PP Energy, for a $5 super chat. Then I received a $10 super chat from House of Rebellion. And that's actually the biggest one of the day. Oops. That'll be 45 what is going on with the leaderboard? And House of Rebellion has a nice thing to say, but let me get them on the leaderboard first. Oh my God, why can't I? There it is. I typed every symbol but the right one. All right, House of Rebellion. I'm just dropping by the show. Here's some 10 for the cause. Uh, for the record, streaks will come and go. Good memories last forever. People make too much over dumb stuff. Have a good stream. You're absolutely right. Like I said, if the streak had ended last night, it wouldn't have been the end of the world. I just didn't want to see it end and see all these people have a field day victory lap over it ending because I changed my schedule. People enjoyed the Call of Duty stream. They actually really liked it. That last hour of ranked gameplay was actually quite good, and I was dominating the, the, the leaderboards in the ranked gameplay, and people thought, oh, Phil's going to play ranked. He's going to fail. He's going to suck. It was the opposite. I was actually doing really well, all right? So I'm uh, excited to play more later in the week. But it's just, again, it's just funny to see these people show their true colors, these basically sock accounts for the same 10 trolls who sit in chat talking shit because the street continued. They can't take it. They're, they're, I'm still, they're still talking right now. I'm getting banned in chat. They're coming up. Ah, oh, you fucker. You didn't spend time with your wife. Yes, I did. I had lots of extra time with Kat last night. We had a great time. We were relaxing. We were watching a, a TV show. We spent time with Jasper, who was acting hyper. It was great. Instead of having to go right to sleep, we actually had some extra time. And it was great. And we're going to continue to do that every night. We're going to win. And you're going to be the loser at home crying alone for the rest of your fucking life because you're obsessed with me. Deal with it. It's not changing. You will be the loser. I will be the winner. Because I'm a positive individual making great content. And you're just sitting around crying about this every night. You're fucking pathetic. <laughs> so please, by all means, keep exposing yourselves in the chat. You're just embarrassing yourself. See? Tro yes. Definitely, because of what happened last night, definitely people should stop contributing. Because I changed my schedule to spend more time with my wife, and therefore, people who are regular supporters didn't know and weren't here, so the streak was going to end, so I stayed 25 extra minutes, and then we hit the streak. Because of that, regular should stop supporting me. How about this? Fuck off, you fucking life stalker losers. Stop with your fucking insane obsession with me. What you're saying didn't happen. You're nuts. Every fucking one of you, whether you're a little insignificant shit or you're Review Tech USA, you're all nuts. Every one of you. And I'm tired of it. Why do I have to sit here and see mentally ill fucking people come to my chat and spew this toxic shit? I'm not putting up with it ever again. I've had enough. You're really, I, this is insane. Shut the fuck up. These fucking delusional fucking people. How did Review Tech get involved? Because he was restreaming the whole thing. 
He was the one who was cheering on the end of the street. And he had people coming over and doing fucked up stuff because of it. That's why. <clears throat> No, I'm not okay because I want to do my show, and I can't do my show with these idiots interrupting it. In both chats, we got idiots coming in, spewing this toxic shit. Like, I can't even focus. I'm trying to talk about Stalker. You got two people who want to talk about Stalker, and then here come 10 troll sock accounts. What the fuck? Get a fucking life. The funny part about all of this is, all right, this has happened seven zillion times, all right? It really has. Something happens that's literally not drama. It's just a normal, commonplace thing, all right? It happens. My trolls spin it as drama, and then a million people get fooled and listen. And then all of a sudden, they hate me, right? All of a sudden, Phil's a villain. Phil's a horrible person. Phil did this bad thing. Phil did that bad thing. I didn't do anything. I literally did, did nothing. Nothing bad happened last night. It was actually a good stream. Like I said, I had a great time on that fucking stream playing the ranked of Call of Duty. I wish there were more people there because they didn't realize that the time change, but it was a good one, right? But according to the trolls, it was like, you know, D-Day for me. It's the end. It's everything's over. It's the apocalypse for Phil. No, that's not true. And if you don't believe it or if you believe them, you're gullible. No, can I say it again? If you believe these people who every single day say every single thing that I do is horrible, bad, and a cancelable action, you're gullible. You need to look in the mirror and say, why do I listen to this drama? And why do I believe it? And why am I even here? Because if you're that gullible, maybe you shouldn't watch a streamer. Right? Maybe you should go do something else. If you get so caught up in drama, I mean, we had this guy, Void, right? When I started streaming on Kick. He liked my content. He wants to be one of my biggest supporters. He gives a whole bunch of subs. Becomes one of my top three supporters. Within a few weeks, he's talking to fucking duty streams. He's in drama content. He's got them all on his streams. They're they're trying to they're literally trying to take my supporters and convert them to be detractors. What the fuck is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? That's not normal human behavior. That's sick shit. That's stuff that people who are deranged do. You understand? Normal people don't fucking have these kind of actions. They just, you know, so what is, what is going on? And now I got to deal with the repercussions of this shit because I'm on stream and I got to hear about all this drama behind the scenes and then they're talking shit about me in my chat. They're talking shit about me in their chat and then the detractors are making videos about it. It's like, I just want to stream content. I literally just want to be here right now talking about my schedule for the week. Why can't I do that? P P humans are too susceptible and too much suckers for drama, okay? They are. I don't want to make drama content. I don't, I, you know, I really don't. That was never my goal. That's why I'm, I never became someone like Keemstar or someone like that, you understand? Um, literally, that's why I stayed away from it. I could have done that. And then you could have said, well, Phil, guess what? It's your own fault. You made your bed. And I would have been like, you know what? Fair enough. That's the content I put out. That's the life I got to live with. I don't do that. I don't make that content. I don't make lol cow content. I don't make drama content, right? So why do I have to deal with all the bullshit as if I do? I don't understand. It makes me scratch my fucking head. You know, I don't understand it at all why I have to deal with this bullshit. So it, it's this simple. If you're susceptible to this shit and you're going to sit here and you're going to associate with these people and you're going to talk with them, then go join them and leave me alone. And that goes for everyone. I you know it's sad because... I have many people who I think are great, positive parts of this community. Void was one of them. Void was here. He was chatting it up, and we were all having a good time. He was making emotes and everything. And then all of a sudden, he turns. What did I do? Did I change? No. Did I change my content, my attitude, anything about me? No. He just decides one night, I don't like Phil because I started talking to Phil's detractors. Right? Last night, was it annoying that the streak might have ended because I changed my schedule? Yes. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Right? That could have, absolutely, that could have happened. It would have been very annoying if it ended. I stayed 25 extra minutes. The street continued. I was still able to finish all my work early, go downstairs, and have time with my wife. That's what happened. So, why is it that there's people in chat, oh, Phil did the wrong thing? Phil, did the, Phil didn't do anything. You're the one who's creating drama here, not me. I made no zero drama. There was none. It actually went well last night. So, why the fuck are we doing about that? I, just, I don't get it.
I really want to know. Can I do my schedule now? Like, serious, did we get rid of them all now? So now I can do my schedule and talk about games and shit? Because I'm tired of this. I already, I had the segment, it was done, and then another 20 fucking socks came into the chat and derailed it, and I couldn't talk about Stalker, all right? I'm going to reset. Really, I'm going to hit the reset button now. And I swear to fucking God, if these fucking people start, I've had enough. It's going to be perma ban left, right, up, and fucking down. Okay, are we ready? 